My name is Carter Raff and I own Raff Distillery here on Treasure Island in the San Francisco Bay. Well, I started out in college uh, making wine because I went to Sonoma State University. So, you know, I started making wine and mead and had been doing that since I was 17, so for over 22 years. And then the natural progression was distilled spirits. About two and a half, three years ago, I started seriously thinking about starting my own distillery because absinthe became re-legalized in 2007. And I've always been an absinthe fan. Believe it or not, I started getting interested in 1985. You know, even when I went to Europe in 2003, there was hardly anything around because it still wasn't re-legalized then. So it was hard to find anything decent that really accentuated what had been being made back in the late 1800s. So that just led to a natural, you know, progression of making absinthe and, you know, perfecting it and coming up with something that no one else has made. And uh, with my product, I think I've done that. I want to make a gin that would appeal to the, you know, younger crowd, people, the next generation coming into alcohol, something they could drink all the time. So mine's more citrusy and floral than it is junipery. So, you know, we made a really nice balance, but something that's not too heavy, you know, nice, nice and light on the palate. And both my products are made from 100% California grapes, which is, the, which is a slight difference than most people. So Treasure Island is, uh, is an amazing place. We took over the old Navy brig, you know, for those of you that don't know, brig, Navy, prison. So we have maximum security cells where our bottling area is, which we're sitting in now and our lab is in the old guard room, so it's, it's definitely got character. A lot of the equipment, uh, especially the stills at my distillery, I actually uh, fabricated from scratch. Some people who just buy them, they have no idea of the internals. If being a metal fabricator, I make 90% of the equipment I use here. That helps us because I have an intimate knowledge. I know exactly every part in that machine, and when stuff breaks, and stuff does break, and especially when you don't want it to, I know how to fix it. I know exactly what to do. I'm not just some mindless guy saying, oh, I know how to flip on a switch. But, you know, the skill comes in the way you monitor the still and adjust the heat and adjust about a million other things. They're all subtle things, but they do affect the flavor. We'll always be in San Francisco because, you know, I'm fifth generation San Franciscan, so the product is, you know, it's San Francisco. 